Hello guys, welcome to this demo on building an AI powered stock trading system using model context protocol. MCP is a framework that allows large language models like Claude or ChatGPT to connect to real world tools such as databases, code bases or file system using secure and structured interface. In this demo, I will walk you through a trading app built using four intelligent agents, each designed to mimic how a smart financial assistant would make decision. These agents read news, analyze sentiments, predict stock price and execute rates all while logging their actions to the Postgres database. And with the MCP integration, we expose the database and code base to an LLM, enabling natural language interaction like show me all Tesla trades where sentiment was bullish but price dropped. Let's dive in and see how this agent's pipeline work and how model context protocol turn our app into an AI native platform. Here is a visual overview of model context protocol. Think of MCP as a smart interface that lets an AI application securely interact with real world tools like APIs, emails, databases, code repositories and more. Instead of hard coding logic to connect to each system, the AI can ask, show me the latest stock trade from the database or what changed in GitHub this week and get a structured response through MCP. In this diagram, the AI application sits at the center using MCP to talk to everything from Gmail and Slack to Web API, GitHub and PostgreSQL. It gives the AI true awareness of its environment and unlock powerful workflow where the model is not guessing. It's reading, reasoning and act based on real data. In this demo, we are going to explore everything by step by step. Let me walk you through what I built. This is an agent based AI system for stock trading. It starts with the news reader agent which collects the latest headlines about the specific company. That information is passed to the sentiment analyzer while using natural language processing to decide if news is bullish, bearish or neutral. Then the price predictor uses the machine learning model to forecast whether the stock is likely to go up or down based on the historic data. Finally, the trader agent takes all the context and plays a trade using the alpaca API buy, sell or hold based on what AI believes is the best move. Now here is where model context protocol comes into play. All four of these agents share their output to a central shared context like a memory space that grows with each step. But instead of context staying locked inside the app, I expose it through the MCP server, one for my Postgres SQL database and another for my GitHub repository. That means tools like Claude or ChatGPT can now tap directly into my trading logs, prediction and source code. For example, Claude could say, show me all trades where we predicted an upgrunt but executed a sell or refactored the sentiment logic to ignore news with a neutral tone. This turns my app into a native platform, not just automated but collaboratively explained with the help of powerful language model. Agent 1 is a news reader agent. For this, I have used the news API to read all the latest news for a particular ticker symbol. Then. The A involvement in here is it prepares the natural language input for sentiment analysis. Raw data is the fuel for the downstream NLP models. For sentiment analysis agent, I have used the tool called Vader. It analyzes the sentiment based on the text and the emotion tone. Agent 3 connects to the Alpaca API to execute the buy or sell or hold signals. So this it reads from the sentiment analysis and execute the trade. Next, Agent 4 reads from the Yahoo Finance to get the historic data. And based on that historic data, it will predict the what is the next move. Let's jump into the demo. I have used these Python libraries for my development. The Streamlit it is a Python framework which is easy to build and share the our beautiful web app. And then uh, I use the Postgres database uh, in my local uh, that will be very uh, easy to store all the information in my database. And then I use news API client uh, that connects to the news API and pull read all the news based on the ticker symbol what we passed. Then I use the sentiment analysis uh, for that I use the adder sentiment. If the rating is above 0 0.4 it is a buy signal. If it is less than that it is going to sell. If it is false between that 0 0.4 uh, and uh, minus 0 0.4, then it is a hold. Then we are going to predict the price. So for the historic information, I pull all the historic data from the Yahoo Finance and I used uh, Keras model to analyze the uh, prediction. Uh, what is the next price going to happen tomorrow and the upcoming days? Then I connected to the Alpaca Trade API to execute the trade. 
This is the final main program. It connects all the four agents. I use the context here. This is my local context. Uh, so each agent will share their output to the context and these context is passed to the agent uh, one to agent two and then following to the up to the agent four. As a first step, we are going to get the news API key. Just login into that news api.org and create an account in that one and generate the API key. This is the documentation provided from the news API. So as of now, I have created an API key and used that API key in my agent one program. Next for agent two, I have connected to the Alpaca API. This is a brokerage account. So as of now, I have created the paper trading account. Paper trading is a virtual money. They have given me nearly 100K for our practice purpose. So we can execute any trades. We can place and sell at any time. So this is the API given by uh, the API documentation given by Alpaca. You can read that and you can see how we need to create it. So for that, we need to uh, API key and then the secret key. So I just connected to this account and generated that one. So these are the sum of the trades I have executed. Uh, when I created the program, I just placed few trades like I bought Tesla and then I sold the Tesla for my testing purpose. So these are the trading logs it's showing in the Alpaca account. Next, I have pushed the uh, entire code report to the GitHub repository because we are going to connect to the GitHub repository on the cloud using the model context protocol. Next, run the app.py using streamlit run app.py. It will launch our UI. Let's place our first trade using this AA trading agent. So now I'm going to execute the Tesla trade. Uh, before that, we need to give the news API key, then Alpaca API key and the secret key. Uh, here the Postgres table viewer shows empty because uh, we have not executed any trade as of now. So let's see the same in our uh, local connection. So this is the uh, Postgres view. Uh, here if you execute this, uh, we will get the empty result. Enable the price predictor agent checkbox and we are going to execute this trade. Uh, run that agent and then we got the news article for Tesla. So these are the news, recent news we got it from uh, news API. And let's see what is the sentiment analysis and the price analysis for this one. Uh, the sentiment analysis shows minus 0 0.8 and the sell signal. And the price analysis, even though the price predicted 260, the sell order got executed because the sentimental analysis takes the priority compared to the price analysis. Next, let's execute the Wells for Go trade. Uh, the ticker symbol is WFC. I'm going to enter this one. Uh, let's uh, see what it predicts. So we got the recent news article for that one. Let's see what is the, uh, oh, it has given the buy signal. So the order has been executed now. Next, ne let's try for the Apple. So uh, the same thing we are going to do, uh, run it. Uh, so what this says, we got the sentiment analysis score as zero on the whole decision. Even the price prediction is 211 for next price, but it didn't execute any trade because the trade is getting executed based on the sentiment analysis. Hope you now you are getting uh, how we are uh, trade works. So these are the logs uh, I have logging for each and every time. Uh, the similar thing I have tried for various uh, ticker symbols and based on that uh, output, we got the answer. Next, let's deploy our app to the Streamlit. So it, this is a free version, but even though it's free version, you can deploy it. Before that, your code should be in the GitHub. So I have placed my code and connected to my GitHub account in the Streamlit. And then once it's done, you can deploy it. Currently, my application is getting deployed. Uh, it will take few minutes or a few seconds to get deployed. So once it's deployed, we can see our application via the Streamlit. Next, I'm going to connect my GitHub repo to the cloud. So for that, you need to download the cloud desktop. So this is available only in the cloud desktop as of now because this is not available in the chat GPT. This MCP is a concept from the Anthropic. So we can achieve it only in the cloud. So you need to configure this JSON file. Uh, we can get this JSON file from the MCP kit repo. I will show you from where you can get that one. So after connecting to that one, I'm just connecting to the GitHub and just asking the, what are the agents can do. So hit that send button, uh, it will going to give the response like uh, what my agent do and what are the readme files. So using this, we can interact to the cloud AI and we can ask and also uh, we can query what are the details we need from the GitHub repo. 
it simply read everything by step by step it will be very easy for us to learn there are another code which is not developed by us uh, using the uh, cloud ai it will be super easy to understand others code also now our cloud ai assistant is fully connected to our github repository it can read through all the code understand the structure and explain the functionality clearly in the same way we can also connect cloud to our local postgres database using the postgres mcp server Although I have not included the part in this video, I will be enhancing the project to add full database integration in the next one. If you would like to explore further, you can find details on all supported MCP servers including GitHub, Postgres, file system and more in the official model context protocol GitHub repository. It's a great resource if you are looking to make your AI agent context aware and action ready. This is the GitHub MCP server. It clearly explains what are the things we can achieve after connecting to the MCP server. So if you are developing anything in your local, you can need to expose it in the MCP server. Then you can achieve it after dockerizing or else via the NPX way. So the final thought about the MCP is it's a powerful bridge between A and real world system. It allows our agent and language model to not only reason intelligently, but also act based on real up to date information from code, data and tools. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part where we integrate cloud with our Postgres trading logs for complete AI inserts. Until then, thank you.